hey guys my name is kunda and welcome to faith fridays thank you so so much for tuning into this video i hope you are blessed by it so if you watch my introduction video on faith fridays you are aware that we're going to be studying the lessons from the book of james and i believe by now you have studied at least the first chapter of james to get your own lessons before you hear my own but if you haven't done that before now that's totally fine you could either pause the video and read through so you could pick your own lessons or follow abruptly as i read through for i will read the entire chapter if you can grab your bible that would be like the best thing you could do but if you can't just try to listen abruptly so let's get right into the study so the book of james chapter one is divided in two parts the first part is on trials and temptations while the second part is on listening and doing so i begin james a servant of god and of the lord jesus christ to the 12 tribes scattered among the nations greetings consider it pure joy my brothers whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man and stable in all he does. The brother in humble circumstances ought to take pride in his high position, but the one who is rich should take pride in his low position because he will pass away like a wild flower. For the sun rises with scorching heat and withers the plant. Its blossom falls and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich man will fade away even while he goes about his business. Blessed is the man who perseveres under trial because when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when, by his own evil desire, he is dragged away and enticed. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth, that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. My dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word, so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in the mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and, come and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. If anyone considers himself religious and yet does not keep a tight rein on his tongue, he deceives himself and his religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress, to keep one's to keep oneself from being polluted by the world praise the lord so as you can see james chapter one is so so filled but i only chose four points that i'll be sharing with you so any other points feel free to share in the comment section so the first thing i want us to take note of is who is james so james is a servant of god and of jesus christ and who is james writing to so pretty much james is writing to the 12 tribes of israel among the nations my first point is from verse 5 i think i should read it again so verse 5 says if any of you lacks wisdom he should ask god who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to him so what i see here is faith and doubt cannot mix because the scripture went on to say that you have to be unwavering also please keep in mind that i'm reading from the niv version so you could adjust your bible to that so faith and doubt cannot mix is my first point so with god i see it it's either 
you're in or you're out you can't have one foot in one foot out and pretty much you put all your eggs in one basket the world will tell you to not put all your eggs in one basket but with god you have to trust god because once doubt comes in the picture it cancels everything because god the scripture says tells us that when you doubt you do not receive anything you could literally cry in your prayers at that time but once doubt comes in it's you cancel everything and faith is so so important i'll share a short story with you guys so 10 years ago i suffered from malaria i think malaria is like quoted normal you know it's a sickness that anybody should have and i had i suffered from malaria i felt like i suffered so much i hate to take drugs and i prayed to god at that time i had no relationship with god i was just a young girl who said you know let me pray to god i had no understanding of christians deserve um divine health i was just praying like god may i never ever get sick to need medical attention and best believe from that time i've never had i've never gotten to a point of needing medical attention even if it looked like i did i would go to the doctors and my tests would be negative and do something i knew i may be crying like oh i feel this i feel that but i knew like I have talked to God. God will not allow me to be sick. So there's no point of going to the hospital. Just let me rest and everything will be fine. So I see faith to be so big. Like I did not doubt as much as I did not have understanding. But faith took me uh, so far. And it was a game changer. So pretty much I want you to understand that faith and doubt cannot mix. Once you start doubting, you are you do not you, your faith is useless like it has it's doing nothing for you and that's something you have to be very conscious of whether your mind is directing from what you have prayed for and what you have asked the lord to do for you next point i see is that whether rich or poor it will all fade away and i picked this from verse 9 to 13 i will not read it again because of i don't want this video to be too long so 9 to 13 you could read it i see that the rich shouldn't think more of themselves just because they're rich here with um worldly wealth that they deserve so much in heaven and everyone else is not deserving and the poor shouldn't think that of themselves like because maybe they have nothing they do not deserve heaven or because maybe they are poor it's a sign of humility and they deserve heaven whatever is on here will fade away and all you have to do is have a relationship with god be saved and know god for yourself so the next point i have is from verse 17 which is everything from god is good and perfect whatsoever god puts in your trust whatsoever comes from god is good and perfect it's without blemish it's it's perfect it's whole and i don't know i feel so passionate about this like you have to understand if it's from god you can't it's not something you're going to find wrongs with like no it's a little crooked here it's this and that everything from god is good and perfect so the last point is from verse 22 which is that not doing the word is self-deception also that when you do the word you are blessed in whatsoever whatsoever you do whatever like it's so stress like doing the word whatsoever you do is blessed you do not have to question for as long as you are in the will of god you don't have to question is uh what if what if this does not go like this what if this and that no say even if you know that whatsoever you do all the works of your hands are blessed how amazing is that so don't don't allow yourself to be the person who listens to the word so they're able to contribute and show like yes i know scriptures i know from G from genesis to revelations listen to the word to live by it to allow it to transform you to be a reflection of what the scriptures actually say so that's all i have for us from james chapter one i hope you've been blessed by it learned something or have been reminded of something that you may have been slacking on so thank you so much for tuning into this video be sure to share the lessons that you learned from the book of james chapter one and i'd like to interact with you in the comment section like share and subscribe see you in my next video